right, so what are we talking about today with completion rules? Um, we're gonna describe what they are. I'll tell you a little bit about that. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to create them. And then uh, I'm gonna talk just a little bit more about the value of completion rules within your classroom. And then as uh, Hannah said, we've got a little bit of time for questions. All right, so what are completion rules? Schoology's completion rules um, are the means in which students can work at their own pace. You know, we've, we've all had students in our classrooms that learn at different rates, have those other questions, maybe need to hear something at multiple times before they get it. Completion rules really provide that ability for us, okay? It identifies lessons that the students need to complete. So just like in your regular Schoology classroom, you're gonna have all of your classes listed. It offers options uh, for the students to show their learning, demonstrate their learning, provide those artifacts as they go through the completion rules. Um, the different types of assessments, whether you're having a quiz or if um, a test or something that, you, that Schoology would uh, grade for you, you can have them uh, complete that and you can establish a level in which they have to achieve that before they're allowed to move on. And then, of course, if you want things done in a specific order, you can ask Schoology to do that. Or if you just say, hey, here's eight assignments, complete them in any order you want. Completion rules allow you to do that as well. All right, so let's take a look at them. The image you see here is a list of actual assignments that I used in an English classroom several years ago. And I used completion rules uh, for students to be able to complete these. You can organize these any way you want. Um, you can have any type of assignment that Schoology allows you to create in there, discussion posts, PDFs, uh, video links, uh, media albums, discussions, I said discussions, assignments, assessments, uh, anything that you can put into a Schoology course, you can set a completion rule for. All right, so how do you do this? How do we create these completion rules? First, make sure that you have all the materials that you're gonna want in the completion rules in the course. Now, this isn't to say that you can't add them later. It's just, you'd have to go through these steps again for all of the new assignments. Next, within the folder, and uh, you, you don't have to be in a folder. It could be at the course level. It's a little more difficult that way. Um, and it takes away some of the options of adding other folders, uh, but you want to uh, be in a folder, uh, uh, which is a best practice for me, from my experience. Um, and then up at the top, you'll see an options button. You'll click on that options button and then select student completion. Now, I'll tell you up front that there's a downside uh, to using completion rules. Any task, that you put into completion rules is going to have its due date removed. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able at this point to uh, have a due date and set it as a completion rule because we're giving the students the leeway to complete these um, in order or within that time frame. All right, so when you click the uh, completion rules or student completions button, uh, you're going to get to this pop-up screen that shows up. And here is where you decide right away as to whether or not you want the students to complete it in a specific order, or if you want them to just be able to choose uh, the order in which the, they complete those tasks. If you want it in a specific order, you're going to click that little box where it says requirements must be completed in a sequential order. Once that's done, you're gonna click the add requirement next to the green plus button, and then select the assignments, one of the assignments, uh, one at a time, and uh, set the specific criteria. And the, uh, there's five different criteria you can select. Select one of the five criteria for that uh, task. And the example there on the right, um, they needed to create a Noodle Tools reference sheet uh, to do that. I wanted them to uh, score a specific uh, grade. So I said, <clears throat> score it at least. And then another window pops up. And out of that 20 point assignment, 
I set a value that they have to score before they're allowed to move on. You can do that for tests and quizzes, anything that's graded. Uh, if you can attach a rubric and you go through and grade it, uh, put the rubric grade in there. And if they didn't score it, they go back and they try it again. All right. Now, in addition to setting these tasks into completion rules, doesn't take away anything or any of the options um, that you have available to the task itself, which means that you can still set specific tasks to specific students or grading groups. This is an amazing tool in my mind uh, because now you're really targeting your instruction or tailoring the instruction for each student or each small group in your classroom. Just a quick review, at the assignment level, you'll still click this little gear and then click edit. And to assign to a grading group or to individual students, you'll click the three colored dots here. And then you just start putting in student names or the name of a grading group. Uh, in elementary schools, I've seen teachers use like a triangle group or a circle group, uh, a rectangle group. So whatever you want to name it, you can assign those uh, specific tasks to individual students or grading groups. All right. Once you have all of the tasks in there, into the completion rules that you're looking for, you review the criteria that you want the students to achieve. Um, and if it's a specific score, you verify the scores are in there. You just hit save changes. And then one of the great things as students begin to work through these completion rules is you can review their progress at a quick glance. By clicking student progress within the folder or within the course where you've set the completion rules, a pop-up window comes up and you can see individual student names and I've got teachers in, loaded into this classroom as my example. Um, and it shows the percentage over here on the right hand side. So as they move through that, you can see the percentage in which they've completed all of the tasks within the completion rule set. You can refresh it by hitting the recheck. It'll tell you how long ago it checked. So if a student says, well, I just finished this, you can recheck it and it'll show you their completion in that. Pretty cool tool. All right. What is it that we're going to use completion rules for in the classroom? I mean, what's the, what's the benefit of using those? If you're using small groups or station rotations in your classroom, this is one of the best ways to duplicate yourself. In teacher made videos, you're duplicating yourself. So if you uh, go through the directions of a task or go through a mini lesson, uh, and you're recording yourself, you can place that video or a link to that video into Schoology. So if a student is one of the students that needs to hear things two, maybe three times, or if there's a lot of different steps to a process, they've got their headphones on, they're watching this on their iPad or on their device, and they pause it, and maybe they back it up, and they listen to it again. And they're able to do that whether they're working individually as is shown down here or in a small group without your inner direct intervention. There we go. While they're working on individual tasks, maybe you're working with another small group providing another mini lesson or maybe introducing the concept to them. Students are able to complete any of these activities uh, It helps with organization. Students often need that, um, that organizational method provided for them. It helps them stay focused. It helps them know the expectations. They can see all of the work that they've got to be uh, complete. And it doesn't have to be just today. Um, in the example that I gave you, that's a one month long project. And students know within a month, they're gonna complete those. 
And again, you can tailor the assignments for students and that meets the students where they need and, and uh, helps them achieve the specific goals.